All right, so we're being asked to find the domain of this function here. So we have f of x equals negative 5x cubed plus 2x minus 3. Uh, so this is like a typical polynomial function. Uh, polynomial functions include linear equations, quadratics, cubics, and so on. Uh, now for polynomial functions, when we're trying to figure out the domain, well, what we have to first consider is what restrictions do we have on our values of x that we can use in our function? So we have to ask ourselves, are there any values that we're not allowed or any numbers that we're not allowed to raise to the third power? Or for example, be multiplied by two. So since we're dealing with just x values that are in the real numbers, x values that are an element of the real numbers, um, we have to consider all of the possible real numbers that we can use here. So real numbers include integers. Integers have no problem being cubed, uh, have no problem being multiplied by two. They include rational numbers, fractions. You can cube fractions, you can raise fractions to any power. Um, you can multiply fractions by whole numbers. Uh, irrational numbers like pi, you can raise pi to the third. So really it looks like in this case we have no restrictions, um, no restrictions. And that's actually going to be the case for all polynomial functions. Um, and when we have no restrictions on the input values, we say that the domain is all real numbers. And so in set notation, it would look like this. So it's the set of all x such that x is an element of the real numbers. This just means all real numbers. So you can pick any number that's a real number, plug it in for x, and it works. Now what does that look like in interval notation? In interval notation, that's going to be all values from negative infinity to positive infinity. So again, like we said, we read it as if we were reading on a number line. So we go from the smallest number, which is negative infinity, all the way up to the largest number, which is positive infinity. Now if you remember back to when we were talking about interval notation, Anytime we meet a infinity, we always use parentheses because we cannot include them in our, in, in our set. Uh, we never actually reach those values, so we can't include them. So those are the domains, right? So like I said, this is set notation, set notation, and then this is interval notation. Uh, you need to know both of these because we will use both of these throughout the school year. And interval notation becomes much more prominent in higher level mathematics. So let's look at another example. Uh, we have a rational function here. So we have uh, g of x equals 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 5. So if you think about rational functions, we have to consider, well, what values is something in a fraction not allowed to be? Um, the numerator is fine. We can have the numerator be any value we want. It doesn't affect the ability to do this division. So the numerator can be anything that we want. The denominator, however, can't be zero. So this is not allowed to equal zero. So let's solve this. So we figure out, well, what value would make this zero? So subtract five, so we have two x cannot equal negative five, divide by two, and we get that x cannot equal negative five halves. Um, so this is actually just our answer in set notation, right? So the domain in set notation would be the set of all x such that x does not equal negative five halves. Um, but interval notation is a little more involved. So let's kind of look at this on a number line. So if we're looking at this on a number line, that usually helps me with interval notation. So here's zero, negative five halves, that's in between negative two and negative three. So here's negative one, negative two, negative three. So negative two, negative three. 
So it says we're not allowed to equal negative five halves. So that means we would have an open circle here at negative five halves. But we are allowed to equal anything else to the right or left of this. So any value here to the right of this is fine. Any value here to the left, to the left of this is fine. All of these other values work. So what would this be in interval notation? Well, this is going all the way off to negative infinity. This is going all the way off to positive infinity. And the only problem that we have is here at negative five halves. So here at negative five halves is the only problem that we have. So we have actually two intervals that we're looking at. We have this interval to the left and then this interval to the right. Now, because we're not allowed to equal negative five halves, we use parentheses at negative five halves. So our domain in set notation, sorry, this is set notation, in interval notation is the set from negative infinity to negative five halves. And then we use parentheses on both of these because neither of them are allowed in, uh, neither of them are included in our solution set. And then the union of that with the other set from negative five halves to infinity, negative five halves to positive infinity. Again, parentheses on both because they're not included in our solution set. So key thing for this, remember rational equations, the denominator can't be zero. We're not allowed to divide by zero.